All right. Thank you for tuning in for this book read aloud by Sarah. This book I'm going to read is called Parker Looks Up, An Extraordinary Moment. It's by Parker Curry herself and Jessica Curry. It's illustrated by Brittany Jackson. Parker Curry loved to dance. Dressed in her favorite tutu, she imagined she was a dancing queen. But one rainy Tuesday, instead of going to dance class, Parker's mom said, Let's go to the museum. Ava too? Parker loved visiting the museum almost as much as she loved twirling and leaping in the air. She pulled on her boots. Mom and her sister, Ava, buttoned up their jackets. Have fun, girls. Bye, Dad. And off they went. Splashing and smiling and... Surprise! Gia, Parker's best friend, greeted them from the top of the museum steps. Yay, it's Gia! Once inside, the friends hurried down a long hall looking at the paintings all around them. They saw prancing horses, blooming flowers, a bushy mustache, a shiny jeweled necklace, two peacocks with red eyes, and a basket of slimy fish. Ew! And feathers. Lots and lots of brilliant feathers. Hurry up, Ava! When Gia spotted a playroom, she raced ahead. Parker charged after her. Explore. Let's make silly faces. After Gia stuck purple hair onto the easel and Parker added a pirate hat and sunglasses, it was time to go home. Time to go, girls! Skipping down the hall, the girls spied a row of frilly white tutus. Parker raised her arms. Gia spun around and around and around. Wait for me, Parker called, dancing after her friend, until she froze in her tracks, spellbound. Parker Curry looked up. A portrait of First Lady Michelle Obama loomed before her. She had rich brown skin just like Parker and kind, familiar eyes that reminded Parker of her mother, her grandmother, her sister, and yes, even herself. How could someone look so real and so magical all at the same time? Who is she? Parker's mother's voice filled the air, her words coming to rest squarely on Parker's tiny shoulders. She's a mother, a lawyer, a writer. She's courageous, smart, caring, a hero, inspirational, confident, a friend, a sister. She's dynamic. She's an advocate. She's honest. She's a volunteer, a mentor, and she's hopeful. She is a queen, Parker whispered, unable to look away, to move, to breathe. In that moment, Parker saw more than just a portrait. She saw a road before her with endless possibilities. Suddenly, Parker felt a small hand in hers, and the spell was broken. Come look, Ava, she said, pulling her arm around her little sister and standing tall. For Parker Curry was feeling powerful and strong, and even though she hadn't moved, inside she was dancing. And now for a note from Amy Sherald, the painter of that official portrait of Michelle Obama. Seeing Parker Curry gaze up at former First Lady Michelle Obama in the National Portrait Gallery took me back to my very first visit to a museum in Columbus, Georgia, my hometown. 
It was there for the very first time that I saw a person in a painting by Bo Bartlett that looked like me. Up until that point, I had only seen paintings in encyclopedias. I knew I wanted to be an artist, but that painting made me realize I could actually become one. Culture determines who counts in society and reflects the society itself. What Parker observed while looking at that portrait of, first of the First Lady was her own greatness. Without representation of all, there will be stories that are missing. When I studied art history, I observed the absence of images that reflected us as our whole selves. I see it as my responsibility to make sure that little girls and boys can walk into an institution like the Smithsonian and see that there are people who walked before them who not only looked like them, but whose accomplishments were so great that their legacy has been archived for all to see. Amy Sherald is an acclaimed artist best known for her official portrait of the former First Lady Michelle Obama. She received a Bachelor of Arts in Painting from Clark Atlanta University and a Master of Fine Arts in Painting from Maryland Institute of College, College of Art. Sherald was the first woman to win the Outwin Butchever Portrait Competition Grand Prize for the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. Way to go, Amy! This book contains various paintings, reimagined as Parker Curry experienced them during her unforgettable and memorable visit to the National Portrait Gallery and the Smithsonian American Art Museum. Now let's learn a little bit more about Parker Curry, her mother, and the illustrator of this book. Parker Curry is four years old and a full-time pre-K student. She is a precocious and talkative kid with a love for ballet and books. She lives with her mother, father, younger sister, and her baby brother in Washington, D.C. Jessica Curry Morton is an author and a writer whose work has been featured in the New York Times as well as a work-at-home full-time mother for two girls and their baby brother Cash. Her blog, Happy Mama Happy Babies, is a motherhood and lifestyle blog that chronicles their adventures. She and her family live in Washington, D.C. Brittany Jackson, or B for short, is an award-winning illustrator who's attended the College for Creative Studies and is the grand prize winner and returned alumna of L. Ron Hubbard's Illustrator of the Future Award of 2007. B has worked in freelance as a character and outfit designer for various social networking and gaming platforms for more than eight years, though she is most publicly known as the illustrator of the popular children's book, Hair Like Mine. She lives in Michigan. This book was published by Aladdin of Simon & Schuster's Publishing Children's Book Division. And lastly, like the real Parker Curry pictured right here, I hope you can enjoy some art museums. And if you can't go to a museum in person, I hope you get to check them out virtually. If you look at the uh, description of this video, I will put a link to a fun virtual art tour that you might like to go on a virtual art field trip you can click on all the pictures and it'll take you to great fun all over the internet thanks for watching